to start wild because you've got to start um, so you have your brief but then we can brainstorm as much as we like and go and push the boundaries as far as we like um, but there has to be a point in time where you say well we've got to make sure that this is going to work in a restaurant we may end up with 50 or more of these recipes on paper and then we'll take what we feel will be the strongest and then when we're in the kitchen, it will be an array of ingredients everywhere. There'll be sauces or salad ingredients, um, different buns. And we'll be taking and trying and saying, well, we want a Mexican flavor. So this one's got guacamole and sour cream in it. Is that the right flavor profile? We may say, well, it's missing something. We want some tortilla chips in there. You know, we will we'll literally be just trying. And if we don't feel it's maybe quite strong enough from a taste perspective, We'll see what we can do to, to make that taste, you know, to be the best. Oh my goodness, there'd be hundreds. We, we kind of screen an awful lot. When we do these development sessions, we'll come up with a lot of products. We'll be trialing throughout the days. Um, so you may just have one bite and say, no, park it, that's not, that's not gonna work. Or, um, so yeah, you can taste an awful lot of products. Some specific taste um, preferences in different areas. I take Quebec as probably being the area that is probably the most highlighted. Um, we will do certain things that maybe a little bit more specific to that sort of French Canadian taste. If we didn't have poutine on our menu here in Canada, I think we'd be missing an opportunity. But you won't see that in many other countries. You may see a version of that in perhaps a loaded fries, but um, poutine is very uniquely Canadian.